Hello guys, I'm Alex Kolaskov, studio photographer. And today uh, I recorded this little teaser for you. And not about studio photography project, but something completely different. Uh, actually, it's about iPhone photography. You know, I fell in love uh, with this little device and uh, I kind of start, start exploring uh, the world of uh, iPhone photography. You know, uh, I always have a uh, cell phone with me and uh, it became interesting uh, for me to, to see how far I can go uh, in terms of uh, image quality and uh, like uh, optical resolution from this little uh, device. I was always thinking to get some point and shoot camera, but again, it's not a big deal to shoot uh, good photos with uh, modern point and shoot. Shoot something uh, nice, not only for web, but for print uh, from my phone. That's kind of a challenge and I always like challenges. So let me show you what I got from uh, my good friends from bandhphotovideo.com. Actually, it's uh, the best online store on US market. So you see all of these cool devices. Wow, it's heavy. And I'm going to show you a little bit from each. Uh, and then I'll be carrying with me one of these lenses uh, all the time for a few weeks. And I create a review for you with uh, you know image quality. Well, the same basically approach as I do in studio photography. Uh, kind of looking in depth uh, of what I can get. Obviously, I will tell about uh, software uh, I use to capture those images with iPhone because the lens is only one part. Uh, the rest is software, which is very important as well. Okay, let's see uh, what we uh, got here. The first interesting uh, lens system, it's iPro lens. I hate uh, this unboxing stuff, uh, I mean videos, but I have to unbox it to show you how it works. <laughs> so we got here uh, like a little case and uh, This kind of mount for the tripod, it has screwing, uh, the regular screwing size, right, for the tripod. And here is the lenses, one lens and, oops, something came, another one. Two lenses, fisheye and uh, wide angle lens. And phones goes right here, right? Uh, I don't want to put it right now uh, because I already did it and it was a little bit cumbersome to pull it out from the, this case, so <laughs> I don't want to spend uh, much time to doing this. This is the first from iPro Lens uh, system. And uh, one little addition to this is the telephoto lens, right, from the same manufacturer, basically. Uh, yep, nice lenses and it goes right here. Every lens just screw in here and it stays uh, very nicely, right? And phone goes here. Nothing new to this, but I like uh, the approach and I like how stable it is. Uh, those systems are quite expensive. It's uh, Schneider Optics, which uh, pretty cool. German manufacturer, right? And uh, they do really expensive stuff. What else we got? Uh, this one, this is from AIM M Light, oh sorry, M Cam Light, designed for iPhone. This is huge, this thing is huge. It has uh, this uh, kind of rubber, uh, case for the phone. Phone goes here and then it gets here. Looks like it's from magnesium alloy. Uh, it's heavy and it also has a little uh, 
mic. So let's see how it gets into it. Okay, we got my phone and it goes directly inside. And you see the lens is huge. Ah, I can open it. So basically it's two lenses, right? So it opens, uh, I don't know, looks like you can uh, replace lens with different one. But this thing is pretty serious. It's like a camera, real one. It's easy to shoot, you know, video and uh, photos. It has uh, mounts for the tripod right here. And well, lens is huge, it's really huge. Um, much uh, larger, I think, than we need because the rear element, if you look here, you see it's much larger than uh, iPhone uh, lens, which actually tells me that probably this lens uh, used to be somewhere else as well. But it should grab a lot of light with this huge front element. So it can be uh, pretty good results, I hope. Again, I'll be testing it. Then what else we got? Uh, this little lens, wide and macro. Okay, a little bit unboxing. Uh, this again, this is uh, kind of expensive lenses because I remember I had lens for five dollars. Similar idea. Uh, you attach uh, the You attach the tape, um, you know, like cell adhesive ring, metal rings to this, and then you put a lens and it stick there with magnetic uh, kind of mount, magnetic clip. This is wide macro, macro from Digital King and uh, another one from Digital King, uh, uh, fish eye, 180 degrees fish eye, which is really cool. Okay, then we got the last one. Uh, this piece, 360 view and video. I'm not sure this kind of strange thing, pretty strange to me, uh, but uh, obviously I'll check what is going on here. Yeah, I'm gonna remove this and we'll see. Mm, how it can be used, I don't know. Alrighty, this review will be posted on uh, 40g.com slash iPhone. Uh, that's where uh, I'll be doing this kind of iPhone photography stuff. Uh, so make sure you check it uh, once in a while or subscribe to our updates on 40g.com.